Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn how to send an email from SSIS package. So why we need to send an email first of all? Because if we are running a lot of packages, the packages can fail or they can complete. Sometimes they can take a whole lot of time to complete. So you want to know okay if the package failed what was the error and the, what was the error description and you can send that email to the DBA team or a, um, production support team and they can take a look right away and inform the people who can go into the SQL server and fix those issues and rerun the jobs second part if on the success you have loaded a lot of records it's good idea maybe you want to send a summary of the load you want to send email with the insert record update the record delete records so the people would know that how many records we got from the source how many loaded how many rejected and all those kind of information they're really helpful so coming back to the options uh, what we have in the SSIS uh, there are multiple options uh, we have let me tell you that's where we are going to discuss uh, in the number one what options we have second we are going to learn uh, the send mail task uh, in the SSIS uh, package so let me take you to SSDT SQL Server Data Tools so if you are using old version you will be using bids uh, and that's fine we have the same options here so first of all we can use uh, execute SQL task we can uh, use SP underscore DB send mail and uh, that store procedure can be used uh, to send a simple email HTML email with uh, attachments and all those kind of things next uh, we have a uh, script task script task whatever we can't do in the built-in tasks we can use the script task to do that in this case if we need to send an email we can always write c sharp code or vb code and we can use the script task to perform that action for us in, in this case let's say we want to send a uh, well formatted html email so script task is our second option we can use it if we don't want to use execute sql task and uh, the last one we have a uh, send mail task that's the built-in task we can use uh, to send the emails uh, this does not provide uh, the capability to send uh, HTML formatted uh, emails uh, and that's I, I think so that's fine uh, because if you want to send an email uh, coming from the SSIS package uh, uh, maybe success email error email some attachment uh, and all those kind of thing uh, this is fine we all uh, do the business and in the business uh, you don't want to get those uh, uh, different colors and uh, you know pictures and all you don't really use uh, these kind of options uh, when you are dealing with the errors uh, and uh, sending uh, some information so plain text will just work fine now let me give you some demo on this one send mail task and uh, this is going to be very simple demo but uh, in the next demos we are going to create some complicated uh, packages uh, and make use of expressions attachments uh, and uh, create the uh, create the files and send them and uh, all those kind of thing we will do here when you open the send mail task what we are going to see here three options in general you can change the name if you like in description you can change the description here go to the mail and now you will see SMTP connection so we have to create uh, this SMTP connection click here new connection and you can provide the name and description here as well so we can call it tech brothers SMTP server and now we have to provide the SMTP server name itself so in my case I have TBS client that's our SMTP server there is a separate video we have created how to create SMTP server on your local box so you can go ahead and watch that video in the DBA tutorial list I will try to put the link in the description as well now we will be using Windows authentication if you will be using this package to run by the SQL Server agent, uh, you your SQL Server agent is running by uh, some service account. That service account uh, will be part of the, your domain, and uh, uh, that 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 will be just fine if it uh, d does throw you some error. You can ask your um, uh, essays or uh, who, uh, whoever manage SMTP server, and they can fix that problem for you. Now hit OK, and here we will be providing from. 
So in my case, I'm going to use Amir SQL age at the rate of gmail.com. So that's in the from, and I want to send an email to Tech Brothers uh, SQL age at gmail.com. And here we can, if we want to CC to somebody, we can write it. And if we want to BCC somebody, we can write it here in the subject. Uh, we can write anything. My SSIS package completed. with success so next uh, you will be direct uh, input uh, message source type so here we are using direct input you you have the options here you can have file connection or come values coming from the variable we are going to go and perform demos on these uh, as uh, well so for now just uh, we will be sent direct input uh, and here I'm going to write hey um, it is done so that's fine here you can come back uh, and set the priority so we have normal low and high so you can go ahead and set normal in our case we don't care and attachment uh, if you want to send some attachment uh, we can browse to any file and then select that file and it will send uh, as the attachment uh, so we have expressions here I'm going to have another demo where I will go and use the expressions uh, so stick around and uh, watch those videos uh, this is going to be very uh, interesting uh, how to make use of this uh, simple uh, task and create very complicated uh, emails uh, so now we are all set let's say it okay if we run this package it should complete successfully it completed now we can go and take a look uh, if uh, we got the email so let me open this one and here sorry I have a lot of tabs open so let me see here now we have a uh, email coming from uh, Amir SQL age and then uh, here is the email it's saying it is done and this is the attachment uh, that we use in the send mail task so that's how you will be using a send mail task but this is very static if you see that here we use pretty much every value we wrote by ourselves so tomorrow if somebody don't want to use this account in production they have different account in UAT they have different account so and here maybe the list of the recipient they will be different so right now we are sending to one person maybe it will be 10 persons so we have to how to send the email or concatenate those uh, different email addresses uh, and then you have subject that will be that can be created as a dynamic so I'm going to do a lot of demos here so stick around thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next uh, video